Live. This is CBS 47 Action News Jax at noon. Local coverage you can count on. Duval County voters, it's time to get out and vote. A live look right now at a polling location on the south side. Nearly 200 voting precincts are open right now for local elections. Thanks for joining us, everyone. At Action News Jax at noon, I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Don Lopez. Important leadership positions are right now up for grabs, including the mayor, sheriff, and supervisor of elections office. Action News Jax Elizabeth Pace has been covering elections live since 4.30 when we hit the air this morning, and she joins us now live this noon at a Southside voting precinct. Elizabeth, you've been speaking with voters who say their top priority right now is crime. And that's what some candidates have based their campaign on is public safety. Now, we've seen voters continue to go inside this Southside precinct this afternoon, and many of them told me that public safety is their top concern going into it. And this election season could shift the future of Jacksonville, and yet under 15% of the public has turned out for early voting. The 2019 local elections could shift the direction of Jacksonville. Voters will have the chance to choose the next mayor, sheriff, supervisor of elections, and at least six city council seats. Jan Vrogan Dewey was first in line at the polls this morning. It really bothers me that less than 20% of the populace is going to vote for those that represent 100% of us. On the west side, we found Deborah Pistek and her husband Pete leaving another precinct. She says she voted for the candidate who she believes will keep their neighborhood safe. Get the crime cleaned up and uh, just to help do what the taxpayers are asking. The heated mayoral race captured headlines this election season with controversial campaign ads and ethics investigations. I talked to Mayor Lenny Curry live on Action News Jax this morning. He credited his work on public safety over the past four years. I've funded 180 police officers. I've invested in fire stations, fire and rescue, so we can keep our people safe. I've invested in educational and after school programs for our kids, and I've invested in neighborhoods. He's up against five other candidates for the position. Omega Allen, Brian Griffin, Jimmy Hill, Johnny Sparks, and longtime political rival Anna Broche. After she voted this morning, Broche told me the city needs to invest more in Jacksonville neighborhoods. Making sure that we have a safer city. Uh, we're experiencing a lot of crime and we need to invest in our children and our neighborhoods as an opportunity to drive crime down. The early voting turnout was 12.5%, and each candidate I talked to says they hope it at least triples today. Now, if you haven't voted and you're still unsure about the candidates, we've listed each position and the candidates up for that position on the Action News Jacks website. And on our homepage, you'll see a voter's guide on there. It'll list all the position and candidates. And we'll also be sending out a breaking news alert the moment we get results. And remember, the polls are open until 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting live on the South Side, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jax.